Broncos, Ravens, 1 o'clock, Baltimore. Uh, the Ravens were 3.5 up to 5, totals 43. Baltimore's 225 to win it outright. Uh, Baltimore's 1-1 one one on the year, 1-1 one one ATS as well. They struggled a bit on defense last week, allowing 34 points to the Cincinnati Bengals. That said, though, they're still averaging 35 points of scoring per game, 5-1 and one straight up in their last six at home. Baltimore's also historically played Denver well in the past couple of years. 8-4 and four ATS in their last 12 facing the Broncos. 5-1 and one ATS in their last 6 in the Inner Harbor. Meanwhile, on the Denver side of things, they're 0-2 ATS on the year despite their 2-0 and straight-up record. And even though there's no such thing as a bad win, Denver did garner themselves victories over the winless Seahawks and the winless Raiders so far in the season. Now, total-wise, 4-1 to the over in these teams' last five head-to-head matchups. Baltimore's also gone 2-0 to the over thus far on the season, 5-2 to the over in their last seven, dating back to last season. And once again, the Ravens are averaging 35 a game, Denver's 24 a game. This total seems inauspiciously low to me. So with all that said and done, give me the Baltimore Ravens minus five and the over 43 points in this one. Next game, Saints, Falcons.